Hello guys, Absolute Doodles here coming to you with round two from the anniversary of tournament that was happening at my locals. And in today's match, we are going to be doing Red Purple Lore versus Anel. Now, this is actually an interesting game just because, well, Anel is essentially a cockroach. No matter how many times you hit him, he just keeps getting back up. And the fact that he just has essentially infinite life, where you take a life, you go ahead and gain it back, He's a really annoying deck to play against, but if you're playing an aggressive deck, you should have a pretty good chance to go against it. So we are going on the play with the, we, if you are see you fight pirates, and we go ahead and add Zoro Juro. Okay, now he goes ahead and gets to Don, passes turn instantaneously. And we're gonna go ahead and swing five into your life and get Shirahoshi off the life, okay. First play and first life is a trigger of Shirahoshi which will allow him to go ahead and draw three and trash two. Port of Charity for any of you Yu-Gi-Oh players who watch One Piece content. Okay so he discards a Sanji and what else? He discards a Capone Beije. Okay interesting. His hand must be pretty good then. And we go ahead and you play the Zoro Joro using the leader ability to get rid of the Shirahoshi and then we play a Sachin Penguin getting two Don back. Okay, pretty good. So this game, we've got the advantage. Like we've got the Zero Juro to get some active Don. We've got the Sachin Penguin to get two more Don. How are we going to play this? So what's the Yanel player going to do? He's going to swing five into life. We just straight take it. He goes ahead and uses four Don plays, a Cracker. Okay. And then we got two four Don ourselves. We rest one to go ahead and play Otama. Use, when you're at sea, you fight Pirates to go ahead and look at top three. Okay, and then we add the Rush Zoro to hand, nice. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and get rid of Freedon. Go ahead and put the Cracker to the bottom. Interesting how I did that when I could have swung seven. Okay, I, I don't understand why I didn't swing seven there. Cause I should have swung seven with the Law or swung five with the Zoro and then swung seven with the Law. Interesting. Okay, but we did play the Beppo, got Don back, and we swung twice. Bit of a misplay on my part there, okay. So he goes ahead and counters the fire swing, and then we re Okay, so we did have a play for the one Don, so it didn't matter. So we go ahead and use We Are Pirates, uh, you fight pirates, and we go ahead and get the Law to hand. Okay, so the Anel player goes up to six Don now. What is he gonna do with the six Don? So swings six into the Sachi and Penguin. We go ahead and let it die. And then he plays Godatsu, getting rid of the Zoro. Okay. So has the ability to remove that. We draw for turn. And what are we going to do next? So we're going to rest two. Maybe not? Okay. Let's see. What are we going to do? So we're going to swing sit five at life. Go ahead and get a Don back. Okay. Looks like he's debating countering it. He does just take it, though. And hits a trigger. Okay. Alright, so he hits a Satyr trigger, discarding a Holly. Then, it looks like we're going to rest four, Don? Rest four. Play the Law. Decrease the Satori. Okay. Then we're going to swing five, potentially, from the looks of it. We're going to swing five? No, we're going to use the leader ability, get rid of the Satori, play a Sachian Penguin, getting two Don back, and then probably swing six? Oh no, we just didn't bother to swing because of, like, in all honesty, if we swang here, like, he just gets to potentially get a free trigger, right? Okay, so interesting, interesting. Now, what are we going to do? What's he going to do? So he swings six into the Beppo. We just let the Beppo die. Not having enough counter in hand from the looks of it. Swings five at life. We just choose to take it. Okay. Then it looks like he's resting eight. Plays a Katakuri. And what is he going to get rid of? So he gets rid of the Lord to the bottom of my life. Okay. So we go up to, I think that's seven Don. Rest five to play a kid. Okay. Leaving us with two left. Go ahead and swing five into life. All right. 
right? Goes in and counters the five. Swings another five into life. Hits a Shira Hoshi trigger. That's very good for him. Looks like he's just debating on what he wants to get rid of. Looks like he got rid of a Katakuri and another Sanji. And then gets rid of an Enel to gain a life back. Then we go ahead and Gamma Knife the Katakuri. Then we get rid of three to go ahead and get rid of the Katakuri. Playing a Rush Zora and then we swing six into life. Trying to just get rid of that last life. He does choose to counter that. Then he draws for turn. Okay, so he's got the Gadatsu, he's got the Enel. We've got three life, two in hand. What could he do here? Like, and we even have the blocker kid as well. So he swings six into the Zora. I just let it die. Swings six into life, or probably the Sachi. Okay. We block and counter for one, and then he plays a Yamato, which is going to give him a life back. Okay, that puts us in a bit of a problem there. But we can still play. So we restand. Alright. So it looks like we're going to rest 5, play a queen. Get rid of a Don, draw 2, and trash 1. And what do we trash? We trash an Otama. Okay. And then what do we do? We swing 5 into life. He chooses to take it. Gets another Shirahoshi. Man's had three Shirahoshi triggers. That's very good. Gets rid of a Thunderbolt. And what else? The Amaru event. Okay. We go ahead and play Gordon. Decrease the Gadatsu. Get rid of Free Don. Put that to the bottom. Play a Law and pass. Okay, so we've established a lot of characters on board. We've got a lot of life. Like, I'm very confident that next turn we can just go for massive swings. So swings nine, we take it. Swings a big number with a nail, which I'm not too sure why. Maybe he thought I had, well, potentially, um, what's it called? Radical Beam? He goes ahead and plays an Ohm, gets a Holly, plays the Holly. Okay, just to trying to make sure that you can guarantee game for the next turn. Okay. So how are we going to play this then? Do we just go ahead and swing five right away? To see if we can get a card out of his hand and then start swinging sevens? What are we going to do? So three cards in hand. So... It looks like I'm contemplating if I want to swing five. And we do swing five. He counters it with a one. Okay. We go ahead and put... Looks like I'm going to debate to put two on the law. It looks like I'm in a very big debating moment here. Where do I want to use this Don to play a character potentially? Do I want to swing? Like, it's coming down to that. He only has two cards in hand, so he has to have the ability to, well, one, counter with those cards. So if they're cards that don't have counter, like maybe Yamato's or Big Mums or even Russian L's, he won't be in a very good position. So let's see what's going to happen. Like, it looks like I'm really just debating hard right now. What is the best play? And then we swing seven into life. Okay. So seven going straight into life. He takes it. Looks like he's debating if he wants to trigger it. Alright. And he does. He gets a Shura. Getting rid of a Shura Hoshi. Then he looks at the top five. Potentially adding something to hand. And oh he shows it and he whiffed. Showing multiple Shuras from the looks of it. Discards a Thunderbolt and gets a life back. Then we go ahead and swing seven. Okay. And then we get rid of Free Don to go ahead and get rid of the Shura. 
Play Suchi and Penguin for no reason, and then we go ahead and swing a massive 9 into life, and that is GG, guys. So, yeah, that was actually a really interesting game to watch, like, especially at the end there where it was like, okay, if I choose to go ahead and go for game, I could potentially win, and I'm even explaining here from the looks of it that I was debating do I want to play the blocker to have protection, or do I want to try and go for game here, which either way would have been pretty interesting to see how the outcome would have been. Honestly, I think if I did go the route where I I attempt to give well attempt to just block her up he just starts swinging into me i don't have enough to protect myself and i just end up dying so going for game there felt like the most optimal choice right where we go ahead and swing for five get rid of a card in hand maybe then swing for sevens and then we go for swing for another seven and then nine as you saw there as well guys so anyway i hope you did enjoy that guys please don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more one piece content and i'll see you guys in the next one absolute daughters signing out later